Today we are going to check STU wiring. You can see the STU connector here. STU. The safety talk of this function is very simple. It's to, it is to protect workers from danger by preventing unexpected motor operation in emergency. Even when this drive is connected to power supply, if the drive uh, is switched to uh, STU state, the motor operation is blocked by this function. So today we are going to check now how to use this STO function. This is a simple diagram to show you how the STO operates. All STO functions are triggered by emergency that is detected by sensor. For example, let's say that there is a light curtain. So, no one cannot work through this way, and there is, let's say that there is a worker who is bent to pass this way. But if he pass this way, like this. The sensor detects emergency. And at this time, the STU is turned off. For example, like STU1 is turned off or STU2 is turned off. It depends on which which STU is turned off, but uh, sometimes STU one and STU two, both of them are turned off. But it is not really important. You know, one thing that is very important is that if one of STU is turned off, STU one or STU two, if one of them is turned off, the drive state. Is change it to STO state. Mm, you see, before sensor detects emergency, uh, the drive uh, is state is just uh, you can say that normal. However, it detects emergency. The drive state, it changes, it, it switches it to STO state. And uh, in STO state, the STO blocks motor operation. So the motor operation is blocked. And the uh, EDM signal is generated by STO, uh, STO state so if you have any safety unique something like a dynamic brake and if it is uh, set in correct way it will operate and uh, your upper controller will detect this EDM signal and this is how the STU works. This is the example of STU wiring. But, uh, there is a safety unit in this system, but this is not necessary. In this case, the sensor is a light curtain.
like we have said in previous page uh, when it detects the emergency stu1 and the stu2 is turned off and the operation signal for motor is blocked and depending on the system other equipment like a dynamic brake can operate this is STU timing chart the functions and the operations that I said in previous page are in this chart the trigger of all process is STU after switching to STU state after switching to STU state the motor power supply is blocked see the motor power is off and the EDM signal is generated and regarding the dynamic brake you need to set some parameters like this 2012 2407 2408 they are related to uh, how to activate the brake and uh, when the brake should operate so you can find the detailed information for them in the product manual and uh, after EDM output, output is generated the dynamic brake is engaged and uh, actually the brake is uh, actually the brake uh, uh, operates uh, by setting the parameters like here Uh, this is a recovery timing chart. Uh, this one has also very similar timing with operation chart. Depending on the STU connection, the drive uh, is switched to normal state. And the EDM signal is not generated anymore. And then after servo is turned on, I mean the servo on, the motor power is not blocked anymore. And if you don't need the, the STU function, like uh, what we have checked in previous page, you can use bypass wiring. Uh, basically, our drive includes the bypass connector in this package. You will have uh, this kind of connector in the package, so you don't need the additional purchase for this connector. 